the real deal. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Real Deal Airsoft. My name is Jake, one of your favorite YouTube airsoft technicians. And in this video, we're doing a product review for a brand new monster that just hit the market. It's a monster designed by Peron. And what platform is it for? It's for a P90. Before we get into the unboxing review, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button because we're always reviewing the newest airsoft tech, pumping out really cool builds, and also teaching you guys how to dive into your gearbox and build your dream gearbox. Some quick highlights about this monster that I want to talk about before we get into the technical data is one, it's utilizing amazing technology that is in the Perron Hybrid, which is the magnetic sensor and the optical sensors for cycle detection. So yes, your trigger will have a magnetic sensor on it, which is amazing because you really can fine tune your trigger sensitivity and being that it has multiple stages, you can program those stages and how sensitive you want them and you can program what, they, what you want them to be. So that's amazing. Number two, there was some re-engineering going on on how the system's going to work. Traditionally speaking, you have a very long cutoff lever that would run to your trigger contacts and that's how your system originally would detect the cycle. Peron decided to print out their own trigger bar that is only used for optical flagging. I guess I'll call it optical flagging. Meaning that when your sector gear cycles, the back cam hits this cutoff lever, but this cutoff lever moves in front of an optical sensor. It doesn't interact with your trigger contacts, which is where the majority of wear and tear would happen. And that's where that, that part would fail. <laughs> oh, no. So this part is not subject to any of that stress and is merely used to flag a signal for the cycle completion really cool stuff and yes they have it 3d printed it's their own part that is included in the box so with that being said really cool stuff let's get right into the unboxing and see what's included in the p90 mob set
Back to the overview about the P90 Monster by Peron. Right now, Real Deal's working on getting his hands on a P90. Hey, where you get that? I'm gonna need that device. Bro. And once I do that, you know I'll be building that cheat clapper, probably gonna be a DSG and a P90. That's what I would build. What gear sets does this mop set work with? Well, it could work with pretty much anything. Any single, any single sector gear ratio, so 18 to one, 16 to one, 12 to one, 13 to one, that doesn't matter. DSG, it also works, it has a DSG mode. It also works with TSG, so tri-sector gears, it will work with that as well. Does it work with brushless motors? Yes, in the manual it specifically says that it does work with brushless motors, but one thing to keep in mind is um, you cannot have rate of fire reduction on, and I would personally avoid active braking as much as possible. Like I said, guys, take out your phone and scan the manual, scan the barcode on the Peron sticker pack, so it'll bring you to the manual, and that will show you all the technical data, which I'm showing right here. And it'll basically walk you through the whole system, and it's really good information. The operating voltage is between 7 and 17 volts, which recommended is between 7 and 14.8 volts. If you're using LiPo batteries, that's what's recommended. But guys, using a regular 11.1 LiPo or Lion, let's not go too crazy here. No one's running 14.8 volt builds. Like, why? I mean, you can. God bless you. Do it. You know, tag me in your build. Let me let me check it out. But for simplicity and for the average person out there in this world, use an 11.1 Lion or LiPo. And every single time you upgrade your Airsoft replica, if, you, if it's upgraded, you have lower ratio gears, you have a higher torque motor, just use 11.1 Lion or LiPo batteries. Grab the highest MAH capacity you could find. Compatibility. So this is a big question. A lot of people are saying, does it work with the Crytek T90s? The answer is no, not yet. Crytek is a little proprietary and they're a little bit nuts. Uh, I mean, I got nothing bad to say besides the fact that I think they're a little bit nuts and they're trying to keep everything in-house, if you know what I mean. Proprietary this, proprietary that. <laughs> Either way, the confirmed brands that this Mosset will work with are Tokyo Marui. So this is based on the Tokyo Marui platform. So Tokyo Marui is number one. Any P90 that's a TM-based P90, it will work with that. So you have SEMA, you have WELL, Classic Army, and ACM. If you have any of those brand P90s, then this Mosset is for you and it's a necessity, all right? Your standard trigger shell is garbage. Your cutoff lever is garbage. You need the real deal, all right? What features does this Mosset offer you? One, we have programmable firing modes. With these programmable firing modes, you're able to program the first stage of the trigger pull and the second stage of the trigger pull. P90, just like an AUG system, which I have a review coming out because Perrin also made a monster for the, for the AUG, it has a two-stage trigger, meaning that it has two functions. You pull the trigger a certain distance, you can fire a semi, you pull the trigger even further of a distance, and it'll fire full auto or burst or whatever you program it to be. So both of those firing options are programmable. The modes include semi, binary, semi-auto, semi-burst, and burst auto. So those are some programmable options you got. Then moving down the program list, you have the burst count. So you can program how many bursts you want, up to a five round burst. You have five different active braking levels, up to eight different levels of pre-cocking, five options for trigger sensitivity, sensitivity for each stage of the trigger pull. So you can program the first trigger pull to be extremely sensitive and the second one to not be as sensitive. So that's completely up to you. Again, we're using magnetic sensors for the trigger detection. So we're gonna have some really interesting and precise results. Of course, we have rate of fire reduction, but again, it will not work properly with brushless motors. So don't use that feature if you're using a brushless motor. We have LiPo battery protection, trigger calibration. We also have DSG mode and a trigger calibration mode. Following that, we have the master reset. And after that, it brings you to the top of the menu and exits you out of the programming. So all in all, is this a good monster for your P90? I think it's the best one on the market. Pretty soon we're gonna be carrying them on www.therealdealairsoft.com along with many other upgrade performance parts and pre-builds. I'm Jake and if you enjoyed this review and you wanna see a P90 DSG clapping cheeks in the field, you wanna see that video come out, you hit that subscribe button. All right boys, talk to you next time. I'll see you on the field. The Real Deal.